did you think that this might be one of those 2011 or 2012 seasons all over again where they started to make a move with young players and gave you a reason to think that maybe the end of their rebuilding, the light at the end of the tunnel, was sooner than we thought when the season started. And there's no reason now to leave anyone behind. Bring them up, let them play if they're going to do this. Kyle Milcher got the hit at the end of the game to ruin it for Miles Michaelis. Uh, you brought up Bednar, and we'll continue this as we are due for a break here, but I agree, uh, and the final is in it 9-1, to one. I agree with this assessment. If David Bednar is going to be in this role for a few more years, what's the point? If you get an offer that knocks your socks off, I think you owe it to your franchise to do it, even though he's a local guy, even though he's pretty good at what he does. Now, if you close the gap a little bit and, you know, things look differently, that's a whole different story. But they need more they need more help, I think, Andrew, all the way through the organization. And if he is somebody who can bring it to you, why not, if the offer is right? Well, because closers are the last, to me, the last piece of the puzzle. Mm-hmm. And the Pirates, even in their worst years, have had a Mike Williams or a Joel Hanrahan or an Evan Meek or a Jose Mesa for a year or two. Like, somebody they found – to pitch the ninth inning for him, whether they were a prospect type player or a journeyman, they found effective closers. And you never know with closers. Bednar's having a great year. He might be average next year. You know, he was not, he was went to Lafayette College. He was a late round pick. He was thrown in to that Musgrove deal. He's having an awesome season. Kudos to him and his family here in Pittsburgh. It's a great story. Yeah. But for the Pirates, Bob. I hate to say it, other than his family and friends, people don't go to PNC Park to watch a closer. Right. Because you don't know if he's ever, you, you don't know if he's going to play. Exactly. It's not like Andrew McCutcheon or a guy like that. So I think absolutely you trade the guy right now. He's already 27 years old. I would absolutely deal him. And if you talk about closers out of nowhere, all you have to do is look at Clay Holmes. No other example oh, is man. needed. We're going to take a break here, Andrew. Or Hoy Park. Back. Or Hoy <laughs> Andy, uh, was it Diego Castillo also in that deal? I think so. Although he made three errors today, I mean, but I still say let him play. I want to see these guys and see where it takes them. We got to take a break. We'll take it. Come back with more calls. It's 412-575-2600. U.S. Open prediction. I'm going to get Andrews. I have mine coming up. The Live Golf Tour. We got Deshaun Watson talking today as well. All of that next right here on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call.